this is the potential wind gust speeds for today, which is Wednesday the 16th of February 2022. So yeah, we're going to get some very nice winds to get the turbine tested properly. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. What are you doing, Cody? You're going to go put the wind turbine up. You're going to go put the wind turbine up. <laughs> yeah, good boy. What's up YouTube? I'm shouting into the camera today because it's very windy. It's Wednesday morning. I've done the first job I needed to do, which was sorting out the gin pole. You can see the cable in there where the power is going to come from the wind turbine. And here, for some reason, I'd welded this bit of metal on to sort of come to a rest on the gin pole, but that didn't work properly. And that's why this uh, ended up being twisted. So what I've done is I've just removed this, this uh, excess bit of metal that I welded on which is now gone, so just got to put the gym pole back up. So these three go from the top of the gin pole to the tower. Uh, the tower actually has 12 cables in total. It's not going to be falling over. Now I'm just going to go crank the winch to just put some tension on those guide ropes. There we can see just a full few pulls of the winch and we've got some uh, tension on here. Uh, before that, we can just have a quick look at the underneath of the turbine. This is the adjustment plate, which you can see is joined together by, joined on by hinges. So this part is made from a, basically a flat plate. The tailpipe, I welded on, I welded on a bit of an extra support there and the hinges there. This is the rear motor mount, so we can adjust the height of the motor from the back and there's also one at the front there there's the chain there's the electric bike motor so that's how they go on this is the rear view this is the front view the other set of blades goes on here it's very difficult to get the bolt tightened on there properly so I need to flatten the surface out a bit on either side Yeah, there wasn't enough clearance before to get the nut on there nice and flat. Now what I'm going to do, I just need to pull the winch up a little bit so that the whole mechanism is lifted up so I can get the front blades on. Now we can put the front blades on. Boom! Here's the one that's a little bit bent. But it ain't going to matter really. That feels lovely. Whoa, there's a lot of slack on that chain. See the bit of a bow in the middle? That's, that's probably all good though, my friends, because a bit of slack helps it get started. That is a lot of slack, but we shall see. Another couple of pulls on the winch, just take it up into the air a tiny bit more. I'm getting excited, my friends. There it is. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Time for a nice cup of tea. I'm just going to show you the setup. Power coming from the turbine to the rectifier, to the meter and shunt, to the battery. Then off the batteries, we have a watt meter, a speed controller, and a dump load. What I like about this, and let's just show you this first. So there's the rectifier. Power coming in from the turbine outside. Uh, the meter with the shunt disconnected the batteries very nice nice and easy to see a uh, second meter which is connected to the speed controller and it seems like the speed controller has a small bit of constant usage using the speed controller we can send whatever amount of power we like to the dump load here are, is some of my broken stuff I've got stacks of those meters so, rectifier, get the drawing again, rectifier, there, shunt and meter, there, batteries, there, from the batteries to the watt meter, there, and then speed controller, 
to the dump load. Okay, that's how we've got it set up. So that I won't have to show you later when the action starts going. You can see there the battery is at 22.78 volts and it's recording 1240 watt hours of energy made which was with the old Chinese turbine. I'm going to try and reset that. At some stage we may introduce the uh, Chinese sandbox, nonsense box, wind turbine controller into the equation. But I prefer running it off this bad boy. So we're just going to see when I turn the speed controller knob up we shall see the power start to go to the dump load. Right, I think it's time to put the tower up. I'm going to get on that winch. If the wind blew the camera over. When I take the tower down on the left hand side, I have to make some slack on the left hand side, otherwise the tower seems to tighten up too much. So I've just got to tighten up these to get this cable a bit tighter. right about now. Right, when it gets up to the top and becomes almost straight, I'm hoping it's going to turn into the wind. We shall see. not perfectly straight the tower I need to adjust some of the uh, guide ropes I'll leave it filming for a minute just in case it decides to turn around I'm going to do these guide ropes up a bit on this side see if we can get it more level now I've just got to tighten these up a bit I'm going to stay focused on this in case it suddenly decides to turn into the wind, which is what we need to happen. The problem is at the moment it's spinning backwards. So even if it does something, it's not going to create anything like it needs to. stick I'm going to attempt to turn it round don't try this at home that is one job I cannot do in flip flops I'll leave it filming a minute see if it turns around by itself it's not going to turn around by itself so I'm going to go get my boots on and try climbing up the ladder and giving it a little push with the uh, long sticky thing
So YouTube, it's Thursday morning and the turbine got a good thrashing yesterday. It's too early really to make any big conclusions other than the turbine's going to come down today and I'm going to make three or four changes on it. It seems to be following the wind a little bit better to get this angle. When it faces into the wind correctly, those blades do catch the wind properly. But yeah, it's got to come down today, Thursday, going to make some adjustments. Uh, my next video will be a lot better because I have a helper, which is very unusual. Uh, my older son's come down today for a few days, so he's going to help me take it down and do some of the film. And I'm going to tighten the chain up a little bit because th there is a bit too much slack on it and I've got to sort out the top inside. It's got to be smoother so the turbine can turn left and right easily. But it didn't make as much electricity as I would have liked, but it did survive. And at no time was I in any doubt, even if the winds had got to 60, 70 miles an hour, that there'd be a problem. And that, that is the uh, beauty of this thing. Like I say, tomorrow, Friday, we are due very strong winds, as strong as I've seen according to the weather in the last 10 years. So this thing will be up facing that storm and that will be in the next video, which will probably be out Saturday. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all my viewers and uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Peace.